Hey gang, Rob here. It is Sunday night, February 28th. I am back on Clearwater Beach. Yes, I know I was here for four or five hours yesterday, but I'm back again tonight because three guys from the club are here and they've invited me down. They got here about a half hour ago. They're a little bit south of here. So I'm gonna work my way south. Beautiful night, guys. It's about 76, 78 degrees. Nice little breeze, absolutely perfect. And I think I got here at low tide and I've already got a first signal. Just walking from the parking area. Let's see if I can refind it. There it is. It's telling me it's a 10 inch down zinc. All right, let's dig this because why not? Our legs are fresh. Who knows? It could be the only coin of the night. I highly doubt that, but you never know. And it probably won't be down 10 inches. Most stuff on the beach isn't quite as deep as the mean machine says, but you never know. See? About six inches and it's not in the hole. And it's giving me a 21 now, not an 18, so this is 99% chance of zinc penny. And there it is guys, we start the night off with a zinc penny, about six inches down. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, you can hear that already before I even started talking. That's a quarter just below the surface. And it's on edge. Oh, it's been down there a little bit guys, people have missed that one. Good deal. Two two digs, two coins. And guys, they, you can tell how busy the beach is by uh, how full up the garbage cans are. And every single one of these garbage cans is filled up and overflowing. So I checked the Frenchies beach camera today, but it was actually out of order. But I know this beach was mobbed today because it was mobbed yesterday and today was just as nice. All right, we hunt on. All right, gang, I'm checking around these three picnic tables by the Booyah uh, jet ski rental uh, last summer around these tables I got me a 14 or 18 carat uh, little gold uh, religious charm so people drop stuff while they're filling out their paperwork alrighty well gang fines don't get much easier than when your machine gives you a dime reading and you can see it before you even uh, take your scoop out there we go a dime and about a foot away from the dime guys we have a actual honest to god beach nickel it pays to spiral out from a coin you find, especially one that's just uh, just been dropped. All right, we're gonna keep checking this area. All right, gang, after that uh, bottle cap, we got it bouncing everywhere from 29 to 24. This might either be a dime or it could be two coins. A little deeper than I thought. Okay, here's going to be one, and we have we have tinfoil to start with, and we have a dime. All right, we're going to see if there's any more signals here. Oh yeah, we got at least a quarter here too. Our first coin spill tonight. And there's the quarter. Oh, that's a seashell. There's the quarter. All right. Oh, we didn't even need to use that machine. And I feel another quarter. Of course, I just dropped the first one. All right, guys. Here's a two quarter and a dime spill. We're going to see if there's more here. And I'm getting a zinc penny reading right here. So somebody lost their parking money. And there it is. A Zinkin four coin spill tonight guys excellent and we just got another zinc penny for our fifth coin of this coin spill and oh this could be our third quarter of this coin spill
and there it is third shiny corner six points so far we're gonna keep checking hey gang I've caught up with one of the three guys from my club on the beach he doesn't like to be on video so I'm not gonna put him on <laughs> but uh, he has found himself a beautiful ring guys he said it rang up like foil which a lot of rings do and guys I can't find even with the lamp on high it says Dylan on it but I can't find any uh, writing on the inside we'll have to look at that with the loop later but that's a damn nice find guys nice find sir alrighty hey guys I'm here with Clearwater Mike the man that does the beach all the time and club president Howard who is epic adventures in paradise who was in the stream uh, earlier today and Mike says he found a nice chain oh look at that baby holy smokes that's got some serious weight to it yes, it does Did you check to see if it says 925 well there's some writing on one of the ends but it's real hard to see Yep, it's got something really small there. Real small. All right, let's do the uh, let's do the 4.0 zoom for this. I think. Uh, I can almost oh see something. yeah, you can almost see it, but it's got it's got a marking, Howard. Very nice, sir. I've got a uh, I've got actually got a loop in my backpack. I do. Yeah. All righty, gang. We just looked at it with my loop. I actually brought my loop in my backpack today. We took it off. Uh, and it's stamped 925, guys, and that's about, what, maybe 16 inches, 8, 12 inches? Nice. There we go. Alrighty. And honest to God, copper penny, not a zinc. OMG. Alrighty, gang, the guys have left. It's probably about between 1130 and 12. That's about when they stay. I've got all this expanse of the beach to do north of the pier. There is the pier, the red light from the end, and that's about where you pay to go in to go fish. And there's your hotel skyline. I did the water area all there yesterday. Got one quarter as soon as I got in, and then two pool tabs. Not a not a fruitful two hours in the water. So guys, I'm gonna take my time, head up the dry sand here, do a few rows, and then maybe hit the water line on the way back um, from Frenchies on back down. All right, we're just sitting here at the Booyah tables taking a break. Had a sip of iced tea, and we're gonna get back at it. All right, good people, I got a zinc penny signal says it was eight inches down i think people plant these just to make work for us metal detectorists to find these no other coins go this deep all right that's been down there a while all right zinc penny all right gang right after the uh bottle cap let's see we got we got a turtle we got that design. We got a Mickey Mouse Pez. I have no idea what that's for. Oh, I guess it makes stars. And then we have another one of these design things. And then we have a huge car, guys. Look at that baby. That thing is huge. It's bigger than the Pez. All right, we have tons of stuff out here, guys. I have so many pool toys we passed up tonight. or sand toys. What do we got there? Oh, we got a starfish. Cool. Well, folks, I have just found something on the beach I have never found before. A Bluetooth earbud. I have never found one of these before. Rang up as an 8-9 eight and nine, eight nine on Beach 1. All right, that's a cool little find. All righty, folks, I have no idea what this is. You can see the rust off the back. This gave me a deep 3 reading. I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's a brooch or pin. I just can't see the back through the rust, but... Whatever it is, I've got it now. All right, I'll clean it up more when I get home. I'm feeling some kind of something on the back. All right. Well, good people, like I say, signals are coming kind of infrequently, so I got a 12-13 here. I was absolutely positive it was going to be a pull tab. As you can see, it's nine inches deep. But guys, we got an honest-to-God beach nickel that has been down there a long, long time. Look at that red. People have missed this for a long time. Boom. We got ourselves a nickel tonight. Well, gang, it's taking me till 12.30 at night, and I just realized what this says. I knew it was an earring, but if you look, it says L-O-V-E. It is a love earring, a little stud earring, and it came in on a really low reading, guys. I think it was a three. Let's see what this was. It was hard to find, too. I'm sorry, 13, nine. It's all over the place, but... Our first 
Ah, real piece of jewelry tonight, guys. There it is. A love earring. Cool. Well, we haven't had this signal in about two hours. Ooh, that's a nice shiny steak order. Alrighty, boom. All right, we're gonna we're gonna uh, spiral out from this spot. And a twenty three twenty five signal. Do we have a dime or a copper penny? We have a dime that's been down there quite a while. It's red. All right, this is a good sign, guys. I just got a really rusty bottle cap. This is a line nobody may have hit a while. All right, howdy. Pretty good. Uh, I did a lot of work for a zipper. Yeah. Hey gang, I took. Thank you, gang. I dig this huge hole. You can't see the hole now because this water keeps filling it in. But guys, I had to dig out a lot of piles of sand. I had a faint iffy signal here, but it was in the ring range. And guys, I did a lot of work for a zipper pull. All right, but the tide's going out a little bit, guys. Not as much as we need, but it's out enough that we can get down here to the water line. Well, gang, it is 1.41 a.m. in the morning. There's the water line. You can hear the surf crashing. I'm back doing the dry sand, just going up and down the beach. My legs actually feel pretty good tonight, guys. I'm not in too much pain. And I just got my best find of the night. I haven't gotten a nice pocket knife in quite a while. Look at that baby. Oh, that's a fresh drop, too. That's going to be a nice knife, guys. That's going to be an expensive knife. Oh, it's maybe my seventh or eighth pocket knife I've found. But that one's nice. I'll look at the brand and more when we get home. That's a great find. All right. We press onward. And 1.45 a.m. Our favorite non-silver coin signal. A 29.30. And there we go. Another nice new shiny state quarter. Boom. Spiraling out from the quarter. That's a dime signal all day long. Look at that. We're going to see if there's anything more here. A little two coin spill. Well, gang, it looks like I stayed at the beach five minutes too long. I just got a deep coin signal here. And I didn't find it with the pinpointer, so I went to dig it out with the uh, scoop. And guys, you can see the corner of that can there. And of course, what do I do? I go to grab it with the non-grab, the non-gloved uh, hand. And I didn't realize, but I split the can open with my scoop. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Rob. I got blood dripping in the sand. I've got sand in it. This isn't good, people. This isn't as bad as Chad from Wig TV. He sliced his finger wide open, but I'm bleeding nicely, guys. All right, I'm going to go down to the water line and get some salt water in this. Crap. I was having a really good night. Shit. All right, let me go get this cleaned out because I think I got sand in it. Well, gang, I haven't made it down to the water yet because I got a nice deep faint coin signal here and I knew it wasn't going to be a can because it was too small but guys I don't get these too often a lot of people get these on the beach but I don't get them too often and look how long that tent stake's been down there oh my gosh look at that wow wow at least I didn't cut my hand on something rusty like that all right I'm I figured might as well as I'm walking to the water I might as well take my detector and detect all the way down instead of leaving it here but wow is that tent stake that's yeah, been down there a while. All right, I'm still bleeding. Well, people, the good news is I've been here so long, the tide's going back out, way out. Uh, Mike said, if you're here till really late, you'll probably catch the tide going back out because it's a super low tide just before dawn. I go, I'm not gonna be here that late, but I am. And I should be able to make it back to the truck before I bleed out. The bad news is, is the cut went all the way up underneath my fingernail and uh, I've been pressing it in the salt water to try and make sure I get any kind of sand or anything out of it. Um, you guys know how much a sharp metal cut hurts. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the water line here on the way back. I don't have too far to go to my 
my condo buildings here, go park where I park. All right, I'm gonna do the water line. All right, gang, it is Rob here. I was BSing with my buddy, the security guard here. And uh, it's 2.45 in the morning. I'm here way later than I planned. Um, legs are starting to feel it now, but uh, it was a good night, guys. I'm gonna go uh, back to the car wash, clean all my equipment, and then uh, take a nice, easy 40 minute drive home. We'll see you tomorrow for the wrap up. Well, actually later today. All right. Wow, gang, when you're driving home at 3.10 in the morning, there's not too much traffic on the road. All right, good people, here is the uh, wrap up from last night's and this morning's beach hunt. I got this cool net right at the edge of the water. Uh, I can use that. Two, uh, two scrunchy balls, um, one fish. I thought I threw that back on the sand, but it was in my pouch. One vape, one really nasty tent steak. A uh, lanyard from uh, Discovery Cove. I think that's uh, SeaWorld. And then obviously Corona Light took the day again or took the night. And uh, again, all these pieces of foil ring up the same as a gold ring. You got to dig them. And uh, my most unique find is my Bluetooth earbud. Uh, whatever that is. I don't know if it's jewelry or not. And then the little love uh, stud ear ring. That's kind of cool. It's missing the stone. And then whatever that used to be a piece of. And, um, and then the beautiful Gerber Gerber pocket knife here. I put some oil on it this morning. It works great. And then 4, 8, 12, 22, 25 coins, 6 quarters, 2 nickels, 4 dimes, and 13 pennies. And my Mickey Mouse Pez. That's it, gang. That was our uh, pretty good beach haul last night. We had a good time. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share.